You got one man who changed his whole life around just to help us. And there's nobody out here doing what he's doing. I don't see no other man walking around in a, in a van or this little small old car picking all of us up, packing us in the car just to come to run and talk to us and take us to workshops, give us food. SIG stands for the Scholastic Interest Group. Some people consider it a mentoring program, but I like to call it a personal development program because I try to help young people become better and I just use sports as a vehicle. We learn about how to get to college. Like it's more than just running, playing sports. As you can see, I'm fourth in the state and I can't even go to UC Berkeley because I didn't know the process to get into college. If I would have known that freshman year to now, I would have been and you see Berkeley right now, easy, no problem. Sports and athletics is a microcosm of life. There are a lot of different life lessons you can learn, such as cooperation, um, how to deal with adversity and defeat, be humble, and listen to a coach, which translate into a boss later on. It's just a myriad of life lessons that you can learn through sports. There's a program that's helping younger kids develop the knowledge to be able to grow up in the world and be the young man our moms wanted us to be. I was a pretty good athlete growing up. I really didn't have any guidance. I ended up squandering my athletic career and making some horrible decisions that I still have to deal with to this day. So I, I didn't want that to happen to some of the young athletes that live in inner city areas. When I first came, I was kind of scared. I really didn't want to talk to anybody because I didn't know them. But throughout the weeks and stuff, we got to know each other. Malik introduced himself to the class and he just explained his life. At the time, I didn't really know too much about him. So when he was explaining his life, he just motivated me and even the football players at the college. That just gave me more insight on myself. Like, don't take things for granted. That's the main reason why I joined the group, because it's motivating. To me, uh, I don't really have a father around the house, so he's like a, a good a father figure. He helps me a lot, so I, I'm grateful. We're actually the only program in San Francisco that has that one-on-one -on -one engagement with the athletes where we talk to them about things outside of athletics. I see things way different. I don't take these from granted no more. You know, I look, I respect my father more. We want to send these young men off to college so they can come back and become engineers and judges and doctors and lawyers and make a significant impact on the community and make the community a better place. I'm a major in political science and environmental science. Hopefully soon, be a lawyer, which may be hard, but you know, everything is hard. Track is hard. That was the hardest thing I ever did ever in my life. The group trying to just teach you just, you stick with something. If you really want to, if you really want to do it, do it. Don't give up.